Hi everyone, I got something different that I want to I want to have a look inside today. And this is a rear projection TV. As you can see in the reflection, you can see me. Hiya guys. Now this TV I got for $25 at at the um, thrift store. It actually seems to be working pretty good, but I don't want to turn it on because it sucks up so much power. And also, show you underneath the speaker guards, the speaker things right here. That exposes the speaker. Got two little speakers right there in the corner. I'll show you They're right there. Only the little ones, but don't have inverted surrounds. And you can see the tweeters there too. Got the other one there too. And there. Simple as that. Hang on. All right, and also this comes with a remote. This is a universal remote. This one right here. It actually comes with a TV, Sony, Unified Commander. Right, and um, also if you have a look underneath, you will see down there where the screws are it actually hold the display on. We're going to remove those in just a second. Okay, so hold on, guys. Alright, so basically let's um, undo these screws. We should probably take the speakers out actually, hold up. No, we'll leave the speakers in. Okay, so I removed the screws and hopefully this thing should... Uh, I think this thing wants to come off, actually. Okay. Oh. oh, I think at the back, actually, guys. Hold up, let's um, try and look around the back if we actually can. Try and fit this camera in here somehow. So it's actually around here, so you got a screw there, up here, and around the corner. Okay, so we have to take the TV out from its uh, thing here. Wait to explode, get that out of here. I think this TV is on rollers, so it should be fairly easy to take apart, basically. Alright. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll leave that off because that might drain the battery. This is part one of taking apart a. A uh, TV, and I'll probably have to go get a stronger screwdriver. Hold up, guys! All right, guys, I got more here. Well, that's a bit of a hard one. Okay, guys, um, I'll have to pause the video right here because that's a bit of a hard one. I don't want to bore you guys to death. Okay, the uh. 
All right. Let's turn this bad boy around and uh, see what we got. It's pretty loose. That's always a good sign. Ah, I think we missed the screw, guys. Um, guys, also, we talked about those um, free projection lenses inside. I'll show you. I'll show you inside right now. Hang on. A little glint on the inside. That's rather interesting, right? Like, how a TV like that actually works. It's freaky. All right. There's a free projection lens there on the inside, guys. If you will see, you can see a lens right there. In fact, if you guys look closely, you can actually see all three of them. Oh, that's amazing! Wow, that is so cool. And also, on that side, somewhere, you actually got a mirror. How weird is that? That's so weird. What the heck? Oh, I can see the colours. Yo, this is amazing. Inside a projection lens TV. You got a giant Fresnel's lens that actually focuses the light. Sorry guys if the camera keeps moving because yeah. In there. Three Fresnel lenses. Still can't figure out how to get this TV apart. something to do with our screws at the bottom. Let me just undo one of those and see what actually happens. Oh! Oh yeah, it is releasing it guys. As you guys see, it's actually releasing the, uh, the screen. I'm holding on to the screen right now so it actually doesn't fall off. But this should be interesting when something like this actually falls apart like that. I saw this on YouTube and I thought, might as well do it. Hey, come have a look, Mark. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Let's have a look, see when the screen actually comes off. Apparently you're supposed to lift up and then pull away, but... Okay, does the mother have to be on the screen with you? Oh, it's alright. 
Yes, what do you do? What do you want? Leave me to do that. So I know yeah. there's another screw, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Guys, yeah. that's my mum, by the way. Hi. <laughs> you can go back to the camera now. The TV now. <laughs> mum, you're fine. I know. You realise I want royalty out of this video, don't you? I know. You've been on lots of my videos anyway. I know. My mum's been on loads of my videos anyway, guys. Uh, this, I didn't even realise this part was actually... This screw was actually part of the whole screen. I didn't even realise it. Well, the best screw what they have inside is actually like called a giant canal lens that actually focuses um, the picture onto the screen. Mm -hmm. Like when I first saw the video, I was like, oh wow. Yeah, that one quite quite a really good one. Yeah, it's a bit of a blunt one, that is. Mm -hmm. Cracked it. <laughs> now they, now they know what you look like. You're not used to being on video, are you? No. Okay. Alright. Hopefully it should come off. You say it. Okay. Coming off slowly, but not quite. It seems to be that it's connected in here. Shouldn't have done that. Coming off quite a bit now. It's gone so far. It's the back piece coming off. I think it's the back piece that's coming off, not the front. It's the back piece. Oh, well, at least you've got the back piece off there. Eh? It's a big unit. I don't know when we do videos this long, but hey. Standing back so they can actually see. Sorry, guys, if this video is going to be long. It doesn't matter if the whole thing has to come off anyway. No, I'm just holding on to it so it doesn't crash to the floor. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because the actual unit is in the rack as well. This thing holds a lot of screws. Mm -hmm. This is a stunning new projection for you, this thing, isn't it? 280 watts. No, no, no that's metal. Mm -hmm. Put the screws in the air thing. Oh, be careful. Oh. This piece comes off first. Take this piece. Take off this piece. Ready? Whoa. Look at that. Yep, yeah, I think it lifts off when it just hit that. Still oh. seems connected to. You've got to take this off. Those are weak. Uh, oh. Take this off as well. It makes my eyes go funny. Wow. wow. It does. It's amazing, isn't it? How cool yeah. is that? This is um, this big mirror. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, I'm awesome. Sorry. I'll pause the video for a moment. Okay, it's unfolded. Let's... Okay, so. Let's see what this thing is. Hang on guys, I'll be right back. Sorry for the pauses and on pauses. I'm going to bring you guys along here. Yeah. Isn't that cool? 
Isn't it? Isn't that awesome? Sure is. Alrighty, I'll leave you to it. Wow. That's amazing. Are you mind blown, aren't you? Yeah, my mum wasn't. But whoa, ho, ho, look at this. Tripod around here. Look at this. That's incredible. You got orange, green, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue. That's incredible. Oh my word. Giant Fresnel lens here too. I don't know what's under this. What's under this? What's under this? Sorry guys, that was moving the camera. Apologies for that. Pushed a bit in, and I got the screwdriver. I'm very clumsy off today. Um, I'm curious to know what's inside of this, or whether it's just a, you know, like basic little thing. All right, so I'll get back to you guys when I. Remove the screws. Okay. Oh. You what? Oh, it's the speakers. Huh. Guys, it's actually the speakers over here. It's the speakers. That's fascinating. Inside this part here is actually where the speakers go. <laughs> I did not know about that, actually. Hang on, guys. I'm going to try and... Yo, this is amazing. Turn off the stretch cable. Okay, you can see a little bit of the magnet there. Right there. That's interesting. Hmm. In case you know what's inside of these lenses here. Chances are they won't come on because power's disconnected. <laughs> In case you know what's inside of this. Inside one of the lenses here, guys. This is so fascinating. Get this out of the way or what? Put the lens there. Perspective lenses here, guys. It's got a crack on it. I don't know why. Alrighty, guys. I'll be right back. All right, let's take it off. Oh! Oh, that's so weird, guys. Look at this. Look, how weird's that, guys? How weird is that? That's pretty cool. And... This. We might be able to save these for a future light project. Alright, so let's have a look underneath this, eh? 
I'm curious to know what's actually inside of these. That's incredible. I never thought I would ever find a TV like this in my whole life. And I don't know what this is right here. Ooh, that's weird. Should be a rubber. I'm not turning it on because I don't want to electrocute myself. <laughs> These things hold a lot of charge in them. They really do because of the respective lenses. And this. And it's got capacitors in there too. And I love the colour too. I mean, it's actually like orange. I like this though. Oh man, I wish I could find more TVs like this. There's a mirror behind me, so yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a tough one. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm overwhelmed easily. Well, not really, but still. All right. Oh. Okay. She's at this plate. Look at this, guys. Guys, I'm sorry, but I have to stay there for now. I have to move this piece out of the way. I don't want it trapping me or anything, but still. Alright. That's part two. Whoa, 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 okay. I heard that, what a mech. Whoa, okay, I'll be right back, guys. Lots of vacuum. Vacuum seal in there. Okay, that's interesting. Guys, you want to see this? Oh, okay. Let me know what you guys see. Those are the bulbs. Ah, okay. That's cool. That is so cool. Alright, let's continue taking it out since we discharged it now. Oh, 
Oh, there, yeah, Sylvia, all the same with her. The things. Some water has got inside of it. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, I'm sure they had it outside where it's not in a good environment. What the heck's that? What the heck's that? What is that? That's all full of water. Look. Okay, that's not good for it. Get all the water out. Yeah, that's gone. That's gone, gone, gone. Okay. That wasn't in a good environment, but hey. That's some good lenses, though. Wow. I don't know whether that was supposed to be in there, that water. Hmm. What's in there? That's weird. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Well, I'm probably not going to take these things apart again. Because I just broke whatever seal this is on here. All of it's got water in it. Seriously. Why has it got water in it? Come on. Oh, my word. Okay, no, I'm not taking those ones off. Uh-uh. That ain't happening, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to turn it on, but no, not anymore. Hang on. Alright, well, I got my dad's reaction to that, but... Nah. No, 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 no. That ain't happening, guys. Uh-uh, not anymore. Hey, okay, well, at least I got a free mirror and I got some speakers. We can take out now. Chances are it would have exploded anywhere a while, a while ago. I don't know why it has water in it, in it though. Maybe it was water cooled. I don't know. Alright, well. Oops, speaker up. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice little one. <laughs> Little speakers. I don't know that was supposed to happen. And I broke the speaker. Oops. 
broke the speaker. Oh dear. Look. Watch this, guys. See? Broke off. Oh dear. Well, let's get the, um, Fresnel lens out, eh? I'm going to do that right now. Obviously these lenses are water cooled, like so they didn't have the heat obviously, so I probably shouldn't have done that. Next time I won't take that apart ever again. I'm not doing that. Come on guys, I'll be Oh uh I'll be back. See you guys. Alrighty guys, it's the next day and um, I just found out if you guys actually look in there and she look inside of there like there's a whole bunch of capacitors in there. That's insane! You can see where the tubes are. Where's the um... Alright, so I got the Fresnel lens out. You can see where the actual units are for this. Now I might be able to try and take these two out because the tubes are still good, obviously. And this one actually went like that. Obviously there's like a vacuum in there or something that probably just leaked out. And chances are this thing won't fire up anymore anyway. <laughs> In order to do that, I'm going to have to try and disconnect some of these cables. you got the control unit here too, right here for the actual colours. Next time I get one of these, I'm not going to probably take these tubes out because, yeah, they're full of vacuum when I fire them up. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen, actually. I think I'm vacuuming things, it would actually go like that, like they were just... You know, basically. I'm taking this panel off here. Right here, I'm taking this whole panel off. Yeah, if I switch you guys around here. There you go. Doesn't matter if I lose the screws, because I... Chances are I probably won't use this stuff anyway. Actually, come off. Does it actually come off? Because I assume it does. Right, and I got one more piece there. in there too the speakers all right as I'm going to the circuit boards it's got little speakers in it guys this little unit here look if you see down there look it's a speaker it goes along with the woofers right here but I did not expect that actually I didn't expect there to be speakers in this unit no wonder it had such great sound. Let's take an eye. Well, I got that out. Oh, nice. Try not to break the terminals this time. Because I accidentally broke the terminals on one of the woofers by mistake. Alright, well, yeah. Might as well speed up this process or something, might as well. By, um... 
thinking about this whole thing. So this is clip four. Because the 32 second one was like with the tube exploding. So uh, yeah. Guys, look at all this mess now. We've got so many circuit boards here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. We've got eight circuit boards in total. And also, look at the wires that we got over here. All of that came from that unit up top. And if you look at the mess in there, look at that. All over. We've got some steel frames and we've got the actual unit over here that I'm like trying to crash up like ready for disposal and all that let's see if I can actually lift this oh and I can lift it I'm gonna bring it outside put it into bits basically Hold it up guys. We've got the unit there. That's where we're currently actually we're going to um break it up into bits basically. Oh, I missed. Sorry guys. That's done. Also, this thing's designed to break stuff, so don't worry. The reason why I'm breaking it up is just so I can chuck it into the bin. Because I can't afford taking it down to the recycling centre. Like that.
and this. Like that. It's got like some chicken wire underneath. I don't know why. It's got chicken wire. That's weird. Alright. Guys, you might think that's violence, but it's actually not. I'm pretty much just trying to break it up just um, so it's easier to get into the bin. Basically. And imagine how much we can do with all this wire here. Oh, and there's a speaker there too. Oh, speaking of speakers. Um, there's some woofers in there. A little tweeters there too. Cute. Put that with the circuit boards. Now I don't know about this unit here because I feel like I could probably use that. Um, the reason why I'm not smashing it up because um we've got glass panels and also Look what happened to one of the speakers too. That doesn't mean I'm gonna blow them up. I'm probably gonna try and fix them. Somehow. If that's even possible, look. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this, but not like that. Oh well. There's some nice speakers though. So uh, yeah. That's basically um completed um of the uh, whole entire teardown. Plus we got a mirror there too. A mirror. Let me know what you guys think. What I could probably actually use that for. Because honestly I do not know. These are the uh, covers that actually went over top. You'll see um in all of this video soon once I upload it. Put this all out there. Alrighty guys, well I better pack up. So uh yeah. Cheers for watching guys and I'll take a few photos as a slideshow for you guys. Cheers for watching and peace out. And maybe I'll try and get some more TVs like this so I can do more teardowns on them. A bit wobbly. So yeah guys, cheers for watching, peace out.